Hey guys, it's Neversync. Quite frequently I'm getting questions about adjusting maps on Filterplate. So in this small video I'll show you how you can fine-tune the map section to fit your specific needs. Now in this video I'm gonna assume that you know Filterplate a tiny bit. If you don't, I recommend you to check out my guide on Filterplate that you can find in the video description. Right, so let's start. First we're gonna move to the customize screen. On the customize screen, if you scroll down a tiny bit, you'll find the map section. All important adjustments towards maps can be done in this part. We'll start off with the most popular request. How can I highlight a certain shape map? This is done very easily. Simply go to highlight and hide specific maps. Enter the map you're interested in, let's say vote map, is quite a popular choice nowadays. Hit enter and you are done. Of course, you can also change the appearance of it. So change its font size, change the colors a tiny bit, and maybe give it a different name. Ah, sorry, give it a different sound. Basically, go wild. Next off, let's take a look on how to treat outleveled maps. Um, outleveled maps is a special property in my filter. The basic idea is once you start a league and if you're running low tier maps, let's say tier 1 or tier 5 or something, you want to see those low tier maps. However, once you progress in the league and are running high tier red maps such as tier 15 and tier 14, low level maps uh, such as tier 1 and tier 2 become less and less interesting. So the big idea here is that once you're running high tier maps, low tier maps will get outleveled and won't, get, uh, won't appear quite as prominently. Outleveled maps will look like this and they will make no sound upon dropping. Now of course you can adjust the appearance and the sound of the outleveled maps here, but you want to do it dynamically. So we'll scroll up to the tier specific section, uh, tier specific setting section, sorry, and you get this one slider here. Uh, basically this one slider defines the difference in levels for maps to get outleveled. So as an example, let's say you drop a tier 1 map in a tier 10 map. That's 9 levels differences, 9 tiers differences. So the difference here is 8. So if the difference is higher than 8, then the map will get outleveled. In our example, you won't see the tier 1 map in the tier uh, 10 map. Well, the tier 1 map drop in the tier 10 map. Um, now, if you don't like this behavior, for instance, um, the patch 3.1, the War for the Atlas patch introduced reasons for you to run lower tier maps. You can increase this number or you can disable it or try it by dragging the slider to the very right. If you want to see less maps, drag it to the less, left side. Uh, one important thing to note here is that, as written here, this slider will not hide any shape maps, any maps over tier 9 or any unique maps. However, if you just want to hide maps below a certain tier, let's say you don't want to see any tier uh, 1, tier 2 and tier 3 maps regardless of the map you're running, use the sliders below, uh, well the sections below. You can use a hide non-shaped maps by tier section to hide non-shaped maps. Let's say you want to hide maps uh, under tier 6 and you can also hide shape maps with the section below. Um, just select, the, um, just move the slider and click on hide. Finally, you have the option to highlight maps based on certain properties. Let's say you want to give rare maps or high quality maps or corrupted or magic maps a certain highlight. You can do it in this highlight by map properties section. So let's say you want to give um, quality 20 maps a special highlight. Just click on show and this rule will get enabled. You can also limit this rule to a certain tier. Let's say this rule will only apply to maps below tier 10 or other maps will behave normally. Finally, before downloading, you can always check the drop simulation to see if the filter fits your purpose. So let's say you want to highlight all maps above tier 10. Just go to simulate, select only maps, and generate some loot. Now we got some 11 quality and a certain quality map and as you see it's highlighted in the right way. You can also change the item level. 
so that you can see how maps, uh, how the filter behaves on a different um, item level. This is also a great way to demonstrate how the out-leveling slider works. You can go to customize, see a specific setting and set the slider to the very bottom. Now, well, let's say one. With this slide, you will only see the map tier you are in right now. That's obviously quite ridiculous. So I recommend setting it to a quite higher value. For instance, something like 9, 10 or disable it outright. Basically, it's about balancing what you want and what you need. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope this was helpful and happy hunting exiles.